Hello my friends, welcome to another new beauty test tube. Ah! This is one of my favorite subscriptions because I literally never know what I'm going to get. Except for that I will probably get some repeat products of things that I've gotten in other new beauty test tubes. But other than that, I never know what I'm going to get. I can, there could be $150 worth of stuff in here. There could be $60 worth of stuff in here. It is so incredibly unpredictable. But one thing that keeps me subscribed is the fact that so many of you, well, I got down to my last one, uh, last referral, and that was Miss Denise. Denise was my last referral for my last new beauty test tube and I was thinking about canceling it because it is so inconsistent until the last tube when like eight of you subscribed to it using my link. So now I'm going to be getting new beauty test tube forever because now I only have to pay for shipping for it. If you get a referral you only have to pay shipping which is about nine bucks. Now this is advertised at like $29.95 but that's not counting the nine dollars in shipping. So really what this comes down to is about a $40 subscription price a little bit under. Honestly, I will tell you my friends, this is a very inconsistent box. It is a gamble every time you get this. So if you're you don't have 40 bucks to just throw away, I do not recommend this box. But if you hit a good one, if you pull that lever on the slot machine, you could end up with some pretty amazing stuff in this. So it's really whether you want to take a gamble or not. And that is my honest opinion about this service. So let's just go ahead and jump into what is in here. This does come every two months. So this is the May, June tube. And this is how it looks on the inside. Enjoy. We hope you love the products in this test tube and discover favorites along the way. It always says the same thing. Oh, let's rip into it and see what we got. Okay, so the tube this month has an orange bottom and very appropriate for May. It also comes with these new beauty to go. Sometimes these are full size things in here, sometimes sample size. And then it does come with this magazine and this has all of the products with the full size prices. And I do not look at this until after I'm done filming unless I'm completely confused about something that I got and I need to look it up. So we'll put that over on the side. Also with this subscription, if you enjoy New Beauty Magazine, it comes with a subscription to New Beauty Magazine that you automatically get shipped to your house. Sometimes it comes in the box, sometimes Sometimes it comes at other times. Looks like it's going to come at another time for this particular tube. So here is the tube. We're going to go ahead and open it up. Okay, so the first thing I see is something that says Beauty Choice Product New Beauty Winner and it says IntelliShade. Original or matte finish. So is this some kind of foundation? Is it a powder? I do not know. Let's open it and find out. Okay, whoa, that is a teeny tiny little sample there. Okay, matches every skin tone every time. Do you see how small these are? These are tiny. They're super itty bitty baby size and I'm not even sure what they do. Oh. They're tinted moisturizers, so that's like two uses for each one. Because I am uber spoiled by my subscription services, when I get little itty bitty samples like this, I'm kind of like, oh. But maybe it's amazing. I don't know. We'll have to try it and find out. Next up, I see a Brio Geo. B-R-I-O-G-E-O, -E Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Mask, and I can always use some deep conditioning mask. Let me tell you, speaking of deep conditioning masks, since I haven't done any reviews lately, I got the deep conditioning repair mask balm stuff by The Balm, and it is the balm. It is amazing. It's like, oh my gosh, it's amazing. So next time The Balm is on Hope Look, check out their deep conditioning repair mask. <gasps> I'm in love with it. It smells so good, and it works really, really well. So that's a Side note, but anyway, I'm anxious to try this one and see if it's just as good. It's for dry, damaged, or chemically, chemically treated hair, which is all of the above for me at this point. I haven't gotten my hair done since October. Look at the grays. Can you see the grays? They are flying. Well, not flying, but they are growing in and taking over. So yeah, it needs to be done. Just been too busy. Hasn't been a priority. You know what I'm saying? You ever get in those kind of situations? I need to stop rambling. So that is in here. Uh, looks like I probably get maybe 
maybe five or six uses out of this. Excited about that. I do have pretty thin hair, so I don't have to use a lot of that. Ooh, macadamia. Natural Oil Flawless Cleansing Conditioner. Six-in-one cleansing conditioner. Cool. I love macadamia products. Actually, you know what? I can't say that. I love their repair mask. I do like their mask. There was one product I tried for them which was just kind of eh for me. Uh, so I don't remember what it was though. Oh, sorry about that. But there was something that was kind of like, oh, it was the oil. It was the oil. Their, their oil, you know, stuff. It was just okay for me. Um, but we'll try this. We'll see how it goes. And it looks like it is a full size. Cleanses and conditions. Cool. Reduces blow dry time. Provides style control. So very excited to try this. And their products typically smell amazing. So looking forward to trying that. And then next I see, mmm, UB, I have about four of these things, um, and this isn't worth to me giving away this teeny tiny little sample or else I would give it to you. I would probably pass this along to somebody at work. Um, it's basically like a Neosporin kind of situation from Japan. Uh, next up, I see something, It's called. it says Cobalt. Oh, this is a Mali Shadow Stick. They have a lot of Mali products in New Beauty Test Tube which I do not complain about. I do enjoy their eyeliners. Do not, have not enjoyed, I got a blush bronzer highlight from them and absolutely hated it. I think it was just that particular product because I've heard really good things from reliable sources about how wonderful those are. This is very dark and it is an eye shadow. So, mm, uh, we'll find some use for this. But it is really pretty, very pigmented and it blends. So that's nice that it blends out, very cool. Maybe doing a little smoky smoky in the corner, maybe a little lower lash line action. Uh, yeah, so this will be put to good use. I've never tried one of their eyeshadow sticks, so anxious to see the wear time on that, creasing all of that good stuff. Okay, next, there looks like there's two more products in here. This is Tan Towel. Look good naked. Uh, uh, self tan towelette half body application for face and body fair to medium skin tones which I am a fair to medium skin tone so that's very convenient uh, I would feel sad if someone got this that was not fair to medium uh, you know just because this doesn't work for everybody you know uh, each tan towel and but it only says half body what do I do with the other half of my body uh, half body applic really they're only gonna let, they're gonna they're gonna really give me something that's only gonna help me with half my body or oh so it comes with all of these uh-huh so it's one two three four five halves five halves so that includes so it's two fulls and a half so weird so weird you know it I understand four but I don't understand five I don't know I don't know, but we'll try it. I've never tried tan towel. I've seen them on Hot Look quite a bit uh, and anxious to see how these work. If you've tried these, please let me know because I don't want to be orange. So if you have experience with this and it's not good, please let me know because, you know, being orange is a bad thing. And then here we have, I think I got this before from them. Yep, Jergens BB Body. I think I did get this in New Beauty Test Tube before and I have not tried it yet. You lovely, lovely, wonderful people. There are some wonderful people explained to me that this would be really nice on the legs, um, you know, to kind of cover up any varicose veins or, you know, little bumps or anything. This would be really nice in the spring, summer, you know, when the shorts are starting to come out and skirts and things. Uh, I think that'll be nice. And, it, in, you know, I haven't, again, I haven't tried it yet it hasn't really been warm enough for that but I will keep you updated on this because it's a BB cream for your body so that's very creative and interesting and the last thing left is silica gel which will be thrown away because it says specifically not to do anything with it but throw it away and definitely do not eat it so that will not you know I'll, I'll take care of that don't you worry silica gel creators I will make sure that that gets thrown away so that is it for the actual tube. Uh, nothing in here that actually super excites me, but let's look in the bonus products, the New Beauty To Go products, and see if there's anything exciting in here. Uh, we got the Tuscan Honey by Camille Beckman. Oh, I threw it. Sorry. Okay, Camille Beckman. I just got in... What was it? Birchbox! I got a Camille Beckman, the Monarch Butterfly one, which is my favorite. Um, I got that in there, and now I, this one is the uh, the Tuscan Honey, and this one smells really nice too. And I absolutely love Camille Beckman's lotions, and they're such super wonderful people over there. I actually emailed back and forth with 
the daughter of the woman who started Camille Beckman, and she is just such a sweetheart. And that does smell really good. It's what you would imagine. It's got a, a honey smell, but a little bit of a floral in there and just beautiful. And one thing I love that I said in that other video as well about Camille Beckman is that they really, their products really seep into your skin without leaving your skin feeling oily. So huge, huge fan of Camille Beckman products and very excited to have that. And then this here is a Steel of Skincare. Oh, cool. Face the Day Moisturizing Gel Cream. Awesome, I've never tried any Stila skincare, so very excited to try that. Cool. Yes, let's see. Usually they have some little packety things in here. Total Refresh Cooling Body Cloths. This will be nice in the summertime when I'm feeling all sweaty and nasty and I need to be refreshed. New with powder silk technology. That terminology always cracks me up whenever they have things like that. So very excited to try this, and it's by Ban. A convenient way to feel instantly refreshed anytime anywhere after exercising at work or on the road so really happy to try that i've never heard of that and then this says coats face c-o-t-z cots face coats face cots face healthier sunscreen lightly tinted sheer matte finish neat and it's just a one u one time use spf 40 broad spectrum uva uvb uvb which is very very useful and that is it for the new beauty test tube. So let me just give you a quick summary about things that I'm excited and not excited about. Jergens Body BB Cream, could do without. Uh, tan towels, hopefully they're amazing. I'm anxious to try those. Uh, the Macadamia Flawless Hair Stuff, anxious to try that. Hair Mask, anxious to try that. Very excited about the Camille Beckman Lotion. Very excited to try the Steel of Skin Care because I know nothing about that. Uh, the IntelliShade, mm, if it's amazing, it'll be fun to try, but I can't see myself getting a really good idea out of that little teeny tiny tube. Uh, not so excited about the Mally just because it's not, a, you know, the dark blue. Mm, but I, I'm happy to have it. I'll definitely try it. The Coats or Cots, uh, the sunscreen, very happy to have that sample. And then the Refresh, we'll definitely use that. So... Oh, and this UB, I could totally do without that because I got a bunch of those things. And it smells horrible. It's got like the worst, like sulfury, horrible, nasty smell. Ugh, it smells awful, but... You know, but anyway, I'll pass along to somebody. Overall, I am happy with my new beauty test tube. There's nothing that I'm like, wow, oh my gosh, this is totally worth 40 bucks. You know, nothing that really was like, ba-bam, in my face, awesomeness. But I am, I do think that it was worth the $40. Do I think it was worth more than $40? Not really. You know, I, probably monetarily it is worth more than $40. But, you know, not really my favorite tube of all time, but definitely definitely not the worst. So thank you so much for watching. I would love to hear your comments down below of what you thought of this tube and make sure you subscribe if this isn't the first time you've seen my videos. Hi and uh, stick around. We have fun here. I do two to three videos a week, usually makeup reviews and subscription services and things like that. Uh, thumbs up this video because you know what that does? It makes me look cool. That's exactly what it does. Uh, it moves me up in rankings so my videos are more viewable to other people that my videos are more likely to pop up so thumbs up really helps me out a lot so if you did like it thumbs up if you didn't like it feel free to thumbs down there's always like three of you at least that don't like it feel free to thumbs down if you don't like it that's fine uh rate it even if you hate it that's what my friend uh what the buck says uh so yeah or at least he used to say i don't think he says it anymore one more thing i wanted to mention before i go is that i am going to be on a blog talk radio show on may 23rd fifth. It's called Derek, the Derek and Kay show. And it's like a morning radio style show. It's at 7 30 PM Eastern standard time. And it's going to be a call in show. So if you want to chat it up, give me a call then it'll be a lot of fun. And if for some reason you miss it, uh, then you can go ahead and just go to blog talk radio and catch it on a rerun and check out and see what we talked about. It should be pretty interesting. So check that out if you're interested. And if not, then I will see you in a video very soon. Mad love my friends. Bye!